Here we are uh, recording on a budget. Um, just uh, really quick about a stereo guitar setup I'm doing. I'll put the example on at the end. Um, there's a lot of different ways to get sound. This is uh, sort of one I've been experimenting with and I think it works okay. So um, this is the, usually the room I uh, have everything set up in, but because my computer's so loud, I've been trying to record in the other room and that's what all these wires are. So sometimes I do the playing in here, but all the speakers and stuff are in there. So anyway, let me show you this setup. Um, really quick, as you can see, we will follow the wires because that usually leads to where everything is. All right, so what I'm going to do here, I want a stereo setup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run out of my quadroverb. And is this thing even on? Yes, my quadroverb into my Bagheera. One side goes into the Bagheera using uh, my new um, LA220. Um, large condenser and then I have my old, old uh, trusty Fender concert there with the uh, SM57 coming out of the other channel of the quadverb so in other words I'm actually running um, an effect onto the tape so to speak um, then of course here got my cloud lifter coming from the 57 and then of course the um, the uh, uh, LA220, Lawton Audio 220, both of those go into uh, my Focusrite, which of course has phantom power. I'll give you an example now, only do, only because I'm going to be recording the actual effect, which is a chorus effect between the bounces between the two amps, gives a really nice chorus sound, and only do that when you're absolutely 100% sure about your, um, your uh, whatever it is, uh, your sound. All right, so anyway, this is uh, recording on a budget, and uh, I'll give you the, the example of the sound, and uh, ho hopefully uh, this helps you out uh, when you're trying to make your own sounds at home. Definitely experiment, that's where you get sounds. Just trying literally a million things. That's what they do in the big studios. You think, oh gosh, they're in a big studio, they press a button, everything sounds good. No. What happens in a big expensive studio is the engineer fusses, changes, moves for about an hour and a half uh, until finally everybody's so tired you can't even perform anymore, not, not really, until finally he gets a setup that everybody likes and then you actually play the track. So uh, it's the same everywhere. It takes time and experimentation. Okay, see you next time.